Gustav, first of all, how was your summer and did you manage to get home? Yeah, I, uh, my season ended earlier last uh, last season because I broke my collarbone in the game against um, Ipswich. So I went home uh, a month before the other guys, um, and yeah, it was good. Good to spend some time home finally. Was that the, the toughest part of last season, just in terms of not being able to get back and see family with, with the pandemic? Yeah, obviously um, it was tough because I was stuck here in the England for the whole season because of course the pandemic and when I was injured as well it was it was a tough time but yeah what are your reflections on last season looking at it now uh, I think it was it's one for the books one for my learning I need to it's one of the, the one for the development um, I learned how to deal with big injuries um, especially I haven't been injured before like really bad and last year was like I learned how to deal with it and how to deal with the feeling of being injured and how you recover from that. It's that kind of mental challenge isn't it? How did you deal with that and how did you find it? Uh, I found it I find, uh, found it tough to be fair. Um, it was a big... It was, it was hard in the beginning um, but then it got better over the time and I learned how to deal with it. But, and luckily I had a lot of the, the guys here at the club to support me and the officials and my friends and the girlfriend over here. So, Because you spent a lot of time with Mads Bidstrup when he was coming back from injury as well. Did you kind of support each other almost going through that kind of rehab? Yeah, exactly. Like It was nice to have Mads as well uh, when I was injured. Not because we both want to be injured, but it was nice to have one that uh, was uh, rehabbing with me. So it was nice. It was Mads as well. Having said that, you did have some really good moments last season. I'm thinking of the, the hat trick at Griffin Park in the last ever game there, and you obviously scored some goals when you came back from that injury. So there's still good moments to look back on, would you say? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, the hat trick at the last game of Griffin Park was a big accomplishment in uh, in my career here at Brentford. But yeah, uh, there were some good moments, but I think it's being overshadowed by all the injuries, uh, in injuries I had last season. You've extended your contract in the summer. How much are you looking forward to this season in terms of making it a better one? I'm uh, really excited. Um, I'm, I just want to go out and prove myself what I can do and stay uh, stay on the pitch and not get injured. In terms of the, your, your performances this season, you've uh, had a bit of time in around the first team in pre-season. How have you found it kind of coming back and, and being here at Harrow? Uh, I found it uh, really nice here at Harrow. It's some nice facilities and it's a great pitch and the surrounding surrounding is great and of course being back in with the first team as well is really nice uh, to be in that uh, Premier League environment. Have you found kind of getting back to, to full fitness in terms of the running and everything? Yeah, I've, I've found back to uh, being pushed by Neil of course. Um, got my little knock at the, at the Wimbledon game with the first team and dealing with that right now but uh, I'm feeling really really fit. It's all about, I guess, taking those opportunities when they, when they come, whether it's training with the first team or being involved in pre-season. Yeah, of course. Uh, I need to show what I can do and just work 100, 110%. Have you set any numbers this season in terms of what goals you want to get to? Um, yeah, of course I want to score a lot of goals. Um, of course I want to hit the 20 mark like Aaron last season. Um, of course it, uh, I need to stay fit as well. Uh, stay on the pitch, not get injured, uh, and that's one of the big marks for me this season. You mentioned Aaron there, obviously he had a, a good season last year, we've also brought in Nathan young Coombs this year. Do you guys almost kind of learn from each other and kind of take bits from each other's game in order to improve? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll say so. Um, you know, of course me and Aaron worked, has worked a lot together the past seasons, and he has some, uh, some things that I can learn from him uh, about being a good player in the box and uh, a good uh, link, link up player. So, of course, we learn a bit from each other like that. And of course, Nathan just arri arrived and uh, is getting into the group. And of course, he, we can learn from him, um, and he can learn from us as well. So, it's a good, good environment.